Good morning everyone. It is Monday and I think I left you right before this little slothy face went to sleep and I had a really really good night's sleep and I also learned something about my Philips Hue alarm clock, the one that's got the light on it. So I accidentally switched it off at the plug because that's where my bedside light is as well. So I switched it off by accident. I don't usually switch it off but it, it must keep time, kind of like your iPhone does when it's turned off. I have no idea how this works, but it must keep time and it must know when it's been turned off. And so it activates an alarm anyway. I couldn't believe it. So it was off, there was no power to it, but it still was able to wake me up with, its, with the alarm at the usual time that I should have been getting up. Bizarre, did not know that about the Philips Hue light, but you learn something new every morning on a Monday, apparently. I'm feeling very chipper this morning. I didn't go for a run um, because I went for a run yesterday and I thought I'd just get myself into the shower, get myself my usual coffee and um, just kind of work through my to-do list. I jotted down what... That is the door. You know, it's Monday when the doorbell starts going uh, non-stop. But um, I don't have a huge to-do list today, but I have a little bit of editing to do on um, my vlog. I've got um, an Instagram picture to shoot, I've got some stories to film, and I've got some um, products to uh, look through. So lots of, um, not lots, just a little bit of stuff to do, but it will take me some time, especially the editing part, it takes me quite a while. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my coffee, I'm gonna head downstairs, and I'm going to crack on with my to-do list for the day. I have a lot of, a bit of like fashion-y stuff to show you today. I've had a few deliveries that I've wanted to kind of work through with you, and they arrived all kind of last week, and I thought it would be nice to show you them, because they're all from brands that I like, love, wear, and shop from, if you know what I mean. So I'm gonna get my perfume on because perfume makes me happy. The weather is also very, very bizarre at the moment. We are currently scheduled about 10 days of miserable weather, but right now, it is sunny. So I'm not entirely sure what's going on. I'm hopeful that what's, what happened last sort of time we were scheduled this kind of weather and um, it was just sort of like a tester. They were like, ha ha, just joking. It's not actually gonna be miserable, it's gonna be boiling. I'm hoping that's gonna happen again. But I have my cardigan, my little cardigan from Truly, which, oh, I am in love with. This is just so convenient and so cozy. So if I get cold when I'm editing, I can just slide this over my shoulders and wrap myself up. So I'm gonna take it with me downstairs. I'm gonna get some socks on as well because my feet get cold really really easily. And um, that is my plan for my Monday. I hope you're having a lovely Monday. This might not be a Monday when this goes out. It's probably a Thursday, but who cares? <laughs> a little box of um, new silk bed sheets. Oh, I can't get my fingers underneath. Well, these are to go underneath. So basically we have like linen duvet covers and um, accent pillows. And then for the, the pillows that we sleep on, we have silk pillows. Um, that's better for your skin, better for your hair. And then also now we have a fitted undersheet as well. I did always think that was funny that I could never find fitted undersheets, but I could find pillows because I often end up with my head on my undersheet, like the fitted sheet. And so this is gonna go straight on the bed tomorrow when we do the big house refresh because our cleaners are now able to come and do the house. So we're gonna get these put on already fresh for a week ahead. So I'm looking forward to that. These are from Lily Silk. Um, I'll link them in the description box, by the way. They were sent to me from Lily Silk as well. But I'm very, very excited and I always sleep on silk pillows as well. So I thought I'd give them a little mention. But I do have a big mound of stuff that has been sent to me. I've had this for a couple of weeks, this bag. You might have seen it knocking about in the back of my um, vlogs. But if you remember, the yellow dress that I wore to Vic and Alex's wedding was from this brand. I bought it from Revolve. And when they saw me wearing it, they got in contact with me and asked if I would like to try any other items from the brand. So I picked some bits. Their dresses are hella expensive. Um, I think I spent about $800 on the actual dress itself that I wore to the, the, the wedding. But I don't think I have ever had 
as many compliments as I had wearing that dress. Like everyone was like, wow, Lydia. And I love it. And I, that's one of those dresses that I'll wear again, even though it's such a statement. I felt so good in it that I, there's no way I could get rid of it. It's just so beautiful, such a gorgeous color. And so I wanted to try some other items from their collection. And um, when they got in touch, I'm gonna try and put you somewhere because I don't know where I can put you here. Okay, this is the first dress from Bronx and Banco, and I am in love with it. It does need to be taken in, like I suspected, but I know just the place that I can take it to be taken in. It's beautiful and such a statement. This for like cocktail parties. I haven't actually done up the, the all the way to the top, but it is such a statement dress, but still very like classic in shape and just looks super smart. And it, I feel like covered up in it. It's really lovely. Imagine wearing this to something like Ladies Day or at like Ascot or Wimbledon or something like that. I'd feel very, very lovely in something like this. And it's got a really lovely back to it as well, but you can just sort of see there that I need to cinch it in a little bit more. But I, ha I did find with the first dress that I ordered, like I said, it was um, quite, a, quite a bit big on me personally. So yeah, I was kind of expecting that I may need to have them altered, like I said, but um, absolutely beautiful. Even this for your registry office wedding would be super lovely, super practical, but also really nice and kind of like demure. This is my favorite one so far for Sure, I would love to wear this to an event or something like that. The only thing is, is the sizing. I've actually clipped this behind. So I think that their, their smallest size for me is, is, is a lot bigger than most sort of smaller sizes that I order. Um, I would say that this is about a size and a half too big for me. So definitely size down and I will be having these altered because they don't actually do a smaller size than this, but it's so beautiful. And to have something that's completely sort of different you're not gonna see everyone wearing it. That's what I really love when I have a dress to wear is just having something a little bit different. And so I um, will definitely have this altered and wear this at some point. This would be the perfect dress, like I said, for some kind of events, especially like summer events. Obviously not weddings, unless it's your wedding. <laughs> this is the Misa dress and I am in love with this. I haven't even put shoes on with it because I would probably wear this with some really like delicate sandals of which I actually don't have. I want some like leather thong sandals that you just slip on. I think I've spoken about the Gianvito Rossi ones. I'm trying to find them in the nude because obviously they're gonna be my most worn, but this is such a gorgeous dress. It is so comfortable. I can't even express to you how comfortable this is. Really flattering and also I love how high up it comes on the bust. So I feel completely sort of covered up, but yet it's not too tight. There's a lot of room, but it's not um, baggy. So it's got this ruching to the back, but it's really delicate and not too restrictive. So I feel very, very comfortable in this. And I would probably wear this as like one of those dresses that is just a sort of throw on dress and look good and feel good and feel comfortable at the same time. So really, really in love with this. And the pattern looks even more beautiful on, I think it's coming across on camera as well, which I'm very happy about. <laughs> There's no place like Ibiza. There's no place like Ibiza. There's no place like Ibiza. Um, also, I just realized that you probably didn't see me in the gold dress from Bronx and Banco. I couldn't get it on. I could not get it on. I'm gonna have to go back and try that on again because I just couldn't get it over my head. I couldn't get my arm in. But this is another one of the Misa dresses and this is such a gorgeous dress. Imagine this on holiday. Oh. It would be amazing. And also, do you know what else I love? Hold that thought one second. I love the fact that you can take your arms out of the sleeves and you can wear it as a bandeau so you don't get sleeve marks if you're sat in the sun. What an absolute win. Very happy with this. Okay, this dress is the underdog of them all. I cannot deal with how flattering the shape of this is. It is so lovely and fitted. It sits a little bit lower than I would usually go for, but I still feel really covered. Like it comes quite low. I wouldn't usually wear a dress like that, but I know that it's actually more flattering on me. It's when something comes up too high, because I've got broader shoulders, um, it doesn't look right. So when it has this sort of scoop, a little bit down the boob area, it is so much more flattering on me. Like it finishes at a really nice point on the back as well. Beautiful length. I think, oh, <laughs> I think this would be perfect for um, being in the garden and just general summertime. This with some cute little sandals. I know I'm just obsessed with sandals at the moment and flat ones at that, but just 
this is just gorgeous. And then you could throw a linen shirt over the top or a cardigan if you get like cold. I love this and it's such a gorgeous print. I really didn't think I was gonna love this dress as much as I do, but wow, really happy with this. Oh, you know when you can't stop looking in the, in the viewfinder, I'm like, it looks so nice. <laughs> oh, this dress is absolutely gorgeous, but unfortunately too tight across my bust and loose here. I think it's supposed to be like tighter here and then at least I, I should be able to breathe, but oh, it's so nice and I'm so upset, but look how cute this is. It's honestly the most beautiful dress. I feel like it matches like my flowers in here and these ruffles, I think it's because my boobs are obviously like ratio and things like that. They're just, they're just out of ratio to my waist, unfortunately. And I'm sure people will have things to say about that, but you know, anyway, I can't even breathe in it. I'm so sad, it's so cute. Oh. <laughs> I'm so upset and that's the thing when something is too tight it's a lot harder to make it fit than if it's too big so I could easily just sort of cinch this area in but I can't do anything about here I can't breathe oh and this is the boohoo dress on and it looks so gorgeous I honestly think that this is such a gorgeous dress it's not see-through there's the right amount of fabric um, nice kind of open back as well but also beautiful cinched in waist here. Really flattering neckline. Blue on sleeves and the color's gorgeous. The pattern is gorgeous. This is the kind of dress that can be dressed up easily for a special occasion, but also um, worn with some plimsolls or some sandals and dressed down, but you still feel kind of like pretty and dressed up, if you know what I mean. These are the kind of dresses that I love to wear to like meetings in summer and and things like that when we're getting out and about, but I thought this was gorgeous. I have just finished up uploading my video for today. It's been a bit of a, a bit of a schlog, if that's the word, because obviously I scrapped any footage that I filmed during the week, so just my head wasn't in it, and I hate vlogging when my head's not in it, but it's up, and now I'm just focused on creating my content, doing my thing. I'm sat out here just daydreaming about how this area is gonna look. It looks so miserable, but already without the stones, it looks so much better. Um, we've just finalized the grout color for down here. And I'm so excited for work to start. I don't know if I mentioned that this um, spiral staircase is gonna be going white as well. And I might get some like flowers to grow up here or some roses. I'm gonna get lots of pots to go out here and we're gonna get new lights as well. I really want to get some more like traditional lights to go out here, but it's really exciting. And um, work starts, I think next week, which is very, very exciting. These are my little aged terracotta trays for my pots. I, I feel like I keep going on about these blooming pots in my um, video, so I'm sorry about that. But um, I'm just so proud of myself. I've never grown anything in my life, so this is a momentous time for me, okay? <laughs> but I'll link these down below. Which one should this go under? I kind of need to, to get my loot of pots and see what works. I have actually ordered more pots as well. Some more of the aged terracotta ones so that I can put these in them, but it means I'm able to put my, uh, what are they called? I can put more um, like seeds and cress and stuff like that and grow more and just kind of put it all in the, um, in the pots that match rather than like the ones that don't match. So it's all very good. However, <laughs> I do need to sort these mint plants out they are not happy at all is that in properly no it wasn't in properly let me get this spray bottle so carrie's mum said some washing up liquid i think that's what she said in there <laughs> i'm gonna give it a good shake this one doesn't seem quite as bad this one seems like it's it just doesn't smell nice either i'm gonna give them a spritz How we're supposed to do it here. Right, I'm gonna pop these outside now that I've sprayed them and hope that this works. Hopefully that works. I've popped them on the wall outside our bedroom, but fingers crossed that um, actually works and they start 
being a little bit healthier because I feel like I got them back to such a good place and I don't even know, I don't really know much about plants so it's probably why I don't really know what to do to make them right and also um, how you even get leaf hoppers. Like, they're house plants, they're inside, they haven't even seen the outside world. Why are they, why are they um, ill and poorly? My goodness, my eyes look red today. Dear me. Um, also, I wanted to say, I mentioned it in my previous vlog, but I made a Liberty London order and I'm so, so excited about this. I really, really am. So basically, um, a couple of years ago, Ali got me a full set of like crockery and, and like a dinner set from the White Company and it's so lovely. And it's the one that we use every single day. And it's just a really like practical one, like goes through the wash, it's fine. You can buy like add-on bits as, as you have like more people over and things like that. But I've always wanted a really nice dinner set, but not like one of those fancy ones with like um, platinum, trim or anything like that I wanted something really really beautiful and I don't know how to explain it like beautiful but also like almost like bits of art and I knew I knew the one that I would find would be so expensive <sighs> I knew um, I was buying a reed diffuser yesterday on Liberty and I stumbled across it and I thought this brand only did like decorative sort of ceramics. I didn't realise they did like full dinner sets. It's a brand called Astia de Villat. It is possibly the most beautiful brand I think I've ever seen. I, um, I was telling Carrie about it and I was showing her and she was like, we have to go and visit this their boutiques when we go to, to Paris, when wherever we're allowed to travel again. But basically it's, I think they're 90% black Parisian clay and then they're glazed with white, but like they're totally imperfect. They're all handmade. And I, what I loved about it was the fact that it's not like, it doesn't all have to match. So you can get like a few mugs from one design and then you can get some mugs from the other design and they're all the same colour and they all go together and they've got these beautiful like bobbly jugs and one of the items that I actually bought was a new fruit bowl because it's on like a pedestal and it was beautiful and I actually bought one of their pots as well and I bought a couple of pieces but it's one of those things that's like you don't buy, well unless you're like a bazillionaire you don't buy everything all at once this is something that i'm gonna have to like collect basically now if it's a birthday if it's a valentine's day if it's christmas all i'm ever gonna want is something for my like collection it's obviously like i think it says that it's it can be put through the dishwasher but it's not advised it's obviously going to be like for best um but oh my goodness, I've just fallen absolutely head over heels. I, I found them on Liberty and that was where I made the order. But I always thought that it was just like, I just thought they did vases and things like that. I didn't realise that they did like a whole set. And so, yeah, I've ordered a few bits. Oh, hold on, Ali's calling me. One second. Hello? Okay. Yeah, I bought a few little bits and hopefully, it, I think Liberty's um, delivery is kind of working behind schedule, but hopefully we can unbox it together um, when it arrives. But I'm really excited because I've honestly been looking for a set like this for so long. And I was looking at all of like the stoneware and, and I found not that there's anything wrong with stoneware. And I, I don't want anyone to think that I'm saying that it's not nice or anything like that. But for my personal taste, it was just a little bit like... Um, it just didn't fit my personal taste and I wanted something that was a little bit more like delicate but still in keeping with like my usual like aesthetic but I just loved how it's just this mishmash of beautiful clay I don't think it's clay is it clay yeah this beautiful ceramics they're all individual all handmade and I just loved it I loved it, I'm so excited. They even do little cat dishes. So yeah, I've just, uh, check out the brand because it's absolutely beautiful and they're boutiques. Oh my goodness. <gasps> I'm obsessed, I'm actually obsessed. Anyway, Ali has just rang regarding dinner. I look very, very tired and I want to just snuggle on the sofa. Do I do anything else? Um, it's been actually a really nice day as well. It wasn't supposed to be this nice. So I'm just, fingers crossed that the weather's gonna go back to being lovely because I miss it already. Lumi's asleep upstairs as well, so. And I'm living in my cardigan from Truly. I'm absolutely living in this, it's so cozy. <laughs> Ali and I are just getting into bed. Sorry, I've not really spoken to you this evening. But he was just watching this video where it recounts the, the beginning, the journey of like COVID and the beginning and the stuff that they tell, told us to do, like yeah. just wash your hands and sing happy birthday. 
<laughs> so stupid. It's like when you yeah. think back to that point in, and how many people were just stood at a sink washing their hands and singing Have you updated <laughs> <laughs> themselves? It's so stupid, isn't oh, it? Dear. And then obviously it and then and then it was like um <laughs> you can still shake the hands of doctors and nurses, um, it, like, it will be okay, um, just wash your hands. Um, and then it was like, the refusal to talk, talk about COVID as a word, and it was like, this thing that's going on. Yeah. Like, as if it was like a mystery All this shit. thing. Yeah, yeah. But that's and a very talk... British thing, like, yeah, that's know, like yeah, such yeah. a British thing, like, you know, with all this going on, rather than calling it COVID-19 or yeah. coronavirus, like, with all this going on. And then they're talking about all the testing equipment, and apparently they missed an email or something to be a part of some sort of, like, body that was going to supply, like, PPE, um, and... And it was like, oh, now we've left the EU. Does all of the EU emails go into the junk box now? <laughs> and, all this. Um, and then when Cummings went up to his um, his parents' home in the farm, uh, because they were concerned that they were both going to fall ill with COVID, so they didn't know what to do with the children. And then they covered it up with a, a story about, like they brought forward some sort of like 200 case test kit thing that didn't really come to fruition. And... It was just loads of things. They were just going through it and just like picking it to bits over time. And it's just the beginning was just like, obviously we don't know what we know now. And hindsight's a beautiful thing. A wonderful thing, yeah. yeah. But I just, I just love the idea of the entire population of the UK washing their hands whilst in their head. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'll see you in the morning. Good morning everyone. I have been filming this morning, as you can see, little camera set up there. I tried filming on my M50 for the first time, but I filmed this makeup look, which is basically like a barely there, bronzy, glowy skin, hydrated skin, in collaboration with Dior Beauty, which is blooming. <laughs> feel very snazzy. <laughs> um, but I thought considering I have been showing you lots of new in clothing in this video, I thought I'd just carry on, carry on the theme. Um, Cause I had a little bit of a H&M haul that arrived and these are some bits that I ordered. Not, it didn't take too long to come this time to be fair. And I reordered these trousers. Sorry, there's a plane going over. It's very weird hearing planes, isn't it? Very bizarre. Any danger of you going away? Yes, no. <laughs> so yeah, these are the trousers that I ordered that last time. I had to go two sizes up because um, I wanted them to be comfortable. So there's a little bit of give in them, but they're super, super comfortable. These are the sort of oatmeal-y linen mix cropped trousers. I have already wiped makeup on them somehow, but I did get two pairs because you know what I'm like. They are so comfortable. And even Ali looked at me, he was like, they look comfortable. <laughs> they look very, very comfortable. Um, also, I wanted to mention in my last video that went up, people were talking about my armpit and how white it was. I do tan my armpits, but naturally you um, sweat and you have have moisture there and there's a lot of rubbing and so for me having a white armpit I mean it doesn't really tan at the best of times so yeah and I'm also really annoyed that it's gone grey again I'm so looking forward to having my next laser treatment at Dermaspa because oh it's really getting me down but yeah, so I wanted to show you these trousers. Excuse the fact that I feel worse than I look, but I've just had some gluten bread which is never a good thing for me because we've run out of gluten-free bread and um yeah, it makes me feel sluggish. It makes me feel like I look very bloated, but I'm sure everyone will tell me, Lydia, you don't look bloated. You don't even need to mention it, but I just feel a bit Ugh. But I wanted to show you them on. Very, very comfortable, not as tight as the uh, other ones that I had and um, super wearable. So I'll probably be knocking around in these quite a bit over the next few weeks. I did quickly want to re-mention this cardigan though. This is probably my favorite cardigan at the moment. It is just the biggest snuggle fest I think I've ever known. It's just, I wanna kind of like, I just wanna buy everyone one because I feel like everyone needs this kind of cardigan in their life. It's so snuggly and one of those things that you can throw on over like any outfit and it just adds a little like cozy layer to it and doesn't look like a, a dressing gown if you know what I mean. I like the way it's just like a drapey cardigan. Very cute, very snuggly. I love it. 
I did buy these trousers in a six and I might keep them just for when I want them to be a bit more like tightly fitted, say if I'm wearing them out and about, but for the ones that I want to wear around the house, I'm definitely keeping the size eight. The size four was just like, I couldn't even fit my organs in them. <laughs> This top is another H&M purchase and super comfortable. It's not too tight. I love the little frill detailing to the end and I really, really like the color of it. Um, it's just this kind of dark, not dark brown, but like a really beautiful warm brown. And I think with white trousers, they'll look really nice, but they also go very nicely with these trousers too. But with my white linen ones, I think this all contrasts really nicely. Um, it's a nice summery kind of shade, goes very nicely with like a warm neutral makeup. In fact, what I'm wearing today looks very, very nice with this outfit. And it's not too tight because sometimes with uh, shirred like clothing, it can be a bit tight, but this one isn't and it's not restrictive and it's nice and comfortable. And then it's got the straps which are like adjustable so that you can have it as long or as short or as whatever as you want, basically. <laughs> now, you might recognize this jumpsuit a little bit. This was from my campaign that I did with H&M last year. Well, it's similar, it's not the same, and it is definitely not as flattering as my one. I'm just gonna throw it out there. Um, yeah, I was gutted because um, I accidentally ended up tumble drying my one and it shrank, and then everyone had bought it and I couldn't get it and I was really sad. So I ordered this one and I have washed it. I wanted to wash it before I told you about it. And I would say that it hasn't washed that well. I've also sized up in it, but it's definitely shrank in the wash and, um, or shrunk, whichever you prefer. But I'd say that this, this area here isn't as flattering because this would generally be like more loose and hang better. Whereas it's kind of hanging and then clinging and then hanging and it's just, but it's cute. It is cute, I do love it. I got it in black as well, but I got it in the wrong size, so um, I need to send that back, but it is cute, easy to wear. I think it could do with being more cropped because it's kind of an awkward length as well. It's not like to the floor. My one was like right to the floor. Oh, I wish they'd bring back the one from last year. Sad times, but I love this like stripe to it. It's so nice, but I thought I would show you this anyway in case you're looking for one that's kind of similar as well, but it's definitely not as good, sadly. Sad times. I did have one other dress, but it's not very nice, so there's no point in me showing it to you. Um, but I thought I'd make this video a little bit of like a, um, just focus on some new in bits in my wardrobe. And I'm gonna try and do my best to um, keep my videos shorter. And I know, I know that there's gonna be an outcry in the comments from people saying, no, we want them longer, but there is kind of method to it in the sense that it's just, it's quite a lot when I do a, and I won't say I won't do them again because sometimes your girl gets carried away and before she knows it, she's got an hour long vlog, but um, it is quite a stretch doing all of the links, not just me obviously for the team as well, doing all of the links, uploading, because obviously even though we now have unlimited internet, which is obviously the best thing that has come out of 2020 for us, that's probably the only thing that's come out of 2020. It's still, we're uploading on like mobile internet, so it takes a long time. And yeah, I just think that I'm gonna try, I know I always say this, I'm gonna try and keep my videos a little bit more con like short and concise, but I know that you guys get excited and I get excited because I'm like, wow, I must have really rambled on that day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna try my best to sort of make them a bit more concise. But I am gonna pick up my camera as soon as I finish this and continue vlogging and get back on it. I um, had some, something really exciting arrive this morning, so I'm gonna get into that and um, crack on with the vlog. So I will see you in my next video. All of the items I featured will be linked in the description box down below. Obviously, a fair few of these items were sent to me, but they were sent to me either because I'd picked the items myself, so they weren't just sent, you know, because someone thought I might like them. I rarely ever feature when someone sends me something because I have to pick it because I'm never just gonna show you something. Um, that I don't actually like. And then a lot of them were for brands that I actually spend my own money on. And I know that it can be really, really sort of annoying when you spend your money on something and then someone else is getting it for free. Believe me, even I feel that sometimes in this industry and, and that's why I do try and keep it quite selective. Um, but I, I get your frustrations and I, I want you to know that like I'm understanding to that. But 
Um, anyway, I will see you guys in my next video. Um, hopefully it's a little bit of like a homeware video, but it could all change and who knows? It's 2020 and anything can happen these days, so. <laughs> hopefully the weather improves as well, but I will see you in my next one. If you aren't subscribed to my channel and if you've made it this far, oh my gosh. If you aren't subscribed to my channel, I know that like this is the thing that everyone always says at the ends of their videos and they're like, oh, if you're not subscribed, please do hit the subscribe button. But like, I don't think you realize how kind of important it is if you're enjoying the video to so just hit it. Even if you never go into your subscription feed and um, you just kind of click on things when you see them on social media, if you aren't subscribed, please do hit the button because it's it's so so helpful for me and I hate to guilt trip you but I'm gonna do it anyway <laughs> but I will see you guys in my next video that's another end it um have a lovely week or weekend whenever this video goes live I think it's Thursday so have a good weekend um enjoy yourself enjoy chilling out and take care of yourself as well so I'll see you in my next one mm -hmm.